Hello everyone, today we are going to open over a thousand small minified gift offerings and check out the drop rates. Maybe you will even find out how rare the infamous onyx drop really is. The easiest way to get small gift offerings that I found are from minified marketeers in the marketing district of Manifos. You only need 46 thieving to pickpocket these. What I like to do is pickpocket a woman in the purple skirt because she tends to get stuck a lot. Manified marketeers give 29.5 thieving XP and 1.3 base faction reputation per pickpocket. Their drop table consists of just 30 coins, minified gift offerings, and one time insects in amber drops. The supposed official drop rate for small gift offerings is 1 in 300. However, in my over 247,000 pickpockets, I calculated the drop rate of 1 in 247. So I'm not sure if I got incredibly lucky or that the official drop rate given is wrong. That aside, I was getting 7.5 gift offerings per hour on average. While pickpocketing, you can also cause simplings to spawn, but most of them are low level. While getting a thousand small gift offerings, I gained about 7.5 million in coins, over 490,000 faction reputation, 7.9 million thieving experience, and about a dozen dragon and kingly implings. It took me roughly 130 hours of pickpocketing to get all thousand plus of them. All you need to get started is 46 thieving to pickpocket the marketeers. However, I found out that you will never get caught if you have 99 thieving and 177,000 reputation in the marketing district. The high thieving level combined with the sticky finger relic from archaeology makes this activity fully AFK. So if you have the relic there's really no reason to pickpocket the gullible tourists, as they seem to share the same drop rate as the marketeer. If you want, you can add the master camo outfit and the brooch of the gods to the setup for some occasional double pickpockets and invention components. So let's get right into it. There's our first onyx. Got a gold leaf right there. Just got an onyx ring. Could be useful as a ring of fortune. Would have liked another onyx, but a dragonstone is okay, I guess. And 
with another gold leaf. Eleventh layer VIP tickets. That's not bad at all. It's pretty weird that a single Taijutsu is a rare drop. There's our first palm sapling. And another palm sapling. The second onyx ring. This is what I like to see. First onyx necklace. Too bad berserker necklaces aren't too useful. Some papaya trees. There's our first magic stone, worth almost one mil. And another palm tree. Another Kaijitsu. Another onyx necklace. Nice, another onyx ring. More papaya seeds. Actual papaya tree instead of seeds this time. Sixteen Slayer tickets. That's the highest amount I've seen so far. Yet another useless Taijitsu. Took a while for another rare, but there's our second magic stone. More papaya seeds. Finally, another onyx. And the last one, please be something good. Ah, too bad. At least the guaranteed coins are nice. I reorganized the loot tab a bit, since some of the rewards were in other bank tabs. 
Now let's have a look at the total loot. Oddly enough, you get a lot of food from these. A fair amount of herbal supplies. Lots of jewelry. I wouldn't know what to do with, to be honest. A pretty good amount of sand, coconuts, and cacti. The amount of strings and silver hawks is amazing. I'm definitely going to use that. Here are some farming supplies. Nothing special. And I'm pretty happy with the amount of rares and onyx drops I got. Sadly enough, I didn't get any Altus onyx drop I hoped for. But at least we learned some interesting things today. I also got a bunch of untradable items, but I will show them in the next section. Now let's price check and see how much we made. So nearly 32 mil in drops, that's not bad. And 50.6 mil in coins, so about 82.5 mil profit. Now onto the drop rates. I've broken them down into sections, where drop rate item means the drop rate per item, drop rate gifts means the drop rate per gift, since gifts roll twice on a drop table, and expected drop rate is what I think the actual drop rate might be if more data is collected. You might want to pause the video at some point, because I won't be going over every single item. Here are the untradeable items I got. The amount of Slayer VIP tickets you get from these is pretty crazy actually. I also got a fair amount of charms, as you can see here. As for the drop rates, they seem to be roughly the same, with springs and silver hawks being the most common, and chimes being more uncommon. Now on to the common tradable items. These, along with the untradables, will be most of what you get when opening gift offerings. The foods and herb supplies all seem to have the same drop rate, with pot of cream being a slight outlier. Not much else to say about this. Jewelry will also be a fairly common drop with roughly the same drop rate. The ruby ring seems to be rare, but I think I just got lucky and I got a few more than the actual drop rate should be. Still kind of interesting, but the diamond jewelry isn't necessarily a rarer than the lower tier gems. The uncommon drops are in a bit of a weird spot. I didn't really get enough of them to get a good sense of their drop rate. They might move to rares if given a larger dataset. I doubt the drop rate is 1 in 340 as RuneScape likes to have drop rates in multiples of two. I also think that G2 shouldn't be this rare, given their other drop locations. Now on to the rares. The Slayer VIP tickets are on this table again, because I think any amount above four tickets are a separate drop given their rarity. The only rare thing I didn't get was the magic sapling, which was kind of odd. That being said, I think all the rares have the same drop rate of 1 in 512, given that the amount of rares I got is roughly the same. So bad news for Iron Man wanting that onyx ring. As you would have guessed, there's only one item on the very rare table, that being 
the infamous Nodotonix drop. Based on the over thousand gifts I opened, I think it has a drop rate of 1 in 1024, but it might even be higher than that. If you're still hungry for more data on the drop rates, there's a spreadsheet in the description with more details. The average worth of small gifts offerings is about 81k, so it's not worth buying from the traveling merchant for 100k. Even if you were to get a Nototonix, it would only be worth 105k on average. This also means that pickpocketing marketeers is only about 600k an hour, given 7.5 gifts an hour, which is pretty bad. I also found out that both uncommon and rare drops from the gift offering drop table are affected by luck, so it might be a good idea to wear a luck ring when opening them. I might do videos on the larger gift offerings in the future, however they are extremely time consuming to get a lot of. I hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps learned something from it. If you like my content, please consider leaving a like or subscribe.